cakes in. So. They gone? Well, they better have. You'll be all right now. It's all right. Nothing to worry about. You wanted to play twice, so you ran in here. That's all. Are you good at it? What? Karate. Never done it before in my life. Well, what was all that then? Saw it in the Kung Fu video. Good, weren't I? Yeah, but you were fake. They relieved me though, didn't they? Well, what are you doing here anyway? Waiting for you, look. For? Little chat. Oh, yeah, what about? This. Designs. Possible customers. Equipment you're likely to need. I want to be your business partner. How did you find out about it? I make it my business to know what's going on. You got some cheek? Thanks. So you think poking your nose in is all it takes to become our business partner? I'm not just offering nosiness. What else? Call it commercial now. Call it what? Well, this list of equipment. I don't see t-shirts on it. So? Well, I thought you were setting up a t-shirt company. Or have I got it wrong? No. Well, where are the t-shirts coming from? We're working on it. I might be able to help. I've got a cousin, Ricky. Drives a delivery van for a clothing company. Catch up with me later if you're interested. We're gonna have to get Rod to give us a key for this door. To protect what? Sweet nothing. Look, he's right. I'm gonna need t-shirts for my designs. All right, Picasso. We will get the t-shirts for your designs. One thing at a time. I found the room, didn't I? Commercial Nouse. Yeah, the Karate King. I mean, don't tell me you really believe his brother does work for a t-shirt company. Cousin. All oh, right, cousin then. Well, there's only one way of finding out. March and a pop in the Vijaya need to Janger de Chenkaja. Hey, 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 Adieu. I see some of Ricky's charms rubbed off on you. Three lovely young ladies, huh? Looks like I could have competition from my young cousin in a few years' time. <laughs> oh, great. Look, we want his T-shirts, not his charm, all right. And the limousine, ladies? It's all right, it's all this. See, we've only just started up, really. I mean, I don't know what Brad just told you, but nothing's definite yet. See, we're not in a position to commit ourselves to buying anything. I love this bit. Boom, chitaka, boom, boom, chitaka, boom, boom, chitaka, boom, boom. Here's the deal. My firm supplies t-shirts to companies who print their own designs on them. Companies like ours? Yeah, yeah. Now, if a firm orders, say, 500 t-shirts... 500? No, but don't want... Okay. If they order 500 t-shirts or more, we always make up a few extra. What's insurance? Exactly. Any problems with quality means we've got extras to replace them with. So the client don't go short on his order. But what if we don't need the extra t-shirts? I have to get rid of them. That's sell them off cheap. You're catching on. So, are you interested? See, we're not really sure. I mean, we've never set up a business before. If we do say, yeah, when do we have to pay her? Well, I just put up a little 10% uh, markup on the price of the t shirts. But you'd still be getting them for a lot less than they'd cost to buy anywhere else. Yeah, well, it don't really matter how cheap they are. Until we actually start selling, we've got no money anyway. It's a good job we've got our business mind here. Tell him, Roger. You get 28 days to pay, standard business practice. All right, so we have these t-shirts for a month before we have to give you any money. But which time you'll have printed them up, sold a lot, and be ordering your next consignment. Now, do we have a deal? 
and step this way for designer casual wear of the very highest quality. Okay now, my heart's desire. That is your order. You are late. She's absolutely bananas about me. Don't push it, Ricky. Right then, uh, grab the merchandise. So, uh, you're the designer? Yeah. Tell me. Well, how are you going to get the designs onto these t-shirts? Silk screening. Well, that's what we wanted to do, but it's too dear. We've got to find some other way. We've got the stencils cut, but we don't know what to do about the paint. Should have sorted that one out by now, shouldn't you? Somebody talking my language. This is one of our teachers. Woo! Take him back to school. Why? Hey. Does she look? She looks alright. Your cousin fancies himself. I oh, know. Do you think they're riding? Well, what does she expect dressed like that? Oh, who's talking? You spend half your life in the cloakroom washing off that makeup. Yeah, but that's different. How is it? What's wrong with Booth wearing that sort of stuff? Well, it's obvious. What, because she's a teacher? No, because she's old. I think I've got the answer to our paint problem. Will he finish with it? T-shirt, 350. Uh, yeah, alright then. You seen Tex? No. Natalie. <laughs> seen Justine Chrissy. What am I? An information bureau? I know when to find that if that paint spray works. Well it does. They've already been out and bought some cans. What at retail? I could have gone cost. But why didn't they wait? They wanted to start the first production run as soon as possible. Well, why aren't you with them? I've got other things to do. I'm responsible for the marketing side of this operation. What? So they're spraying now? In the workshop? Well, of course in the workshop. Vaughan, do you want to put your name down for a t-shirt? Maybe I'll leave them to it. What's wrong? There's no ventilation in there. What? 